Hey everyone, Deborah from Fleet and Family here. I just want to take a moment today and ask you if you are prepared for the next event that we have coming our way. Now, by event, I mean natural disaster, things like that, that would cause us to have an emergency kit ready to go. This is a time of year where I start thinking about what's in my go kit. Uh, being born and raised on the East Coast, having been stationed on the East Coast several times, hurricane season is something that I would normally prepare for. So while our friends on the East Coast are preparing for those kinds of things, we don't necessarily have a season, so to speak. But we still have to prepare for earthquakes, wildfires, those kinds of uh, natural disasters that may come our way. So what better time than now while we're at home trying to figure out what to do because we've cleaned out all of our closets. Uh, take a moment and see, is your kit ready to go? If you were given the notice that you had to evacuate your house in five minutes, what would you grab? Would you know where things are? Fortunately, Preparing now allows us to be able to think a little bit more clearly as we are grabbing those things or as we are getting ready in the event that something were to happen. So I took a moment to gather a few things that I would have in various kits throughout my house, whether it would be my car kit, my go kit. Um, so you can see there's some first aid supplies down here. I have some emergency flares, blankets, some water, my jumper cables just in case. Um, so again, it's just a real quick grab um, and kind of inventory right now. I know I am nowhere near ready. Uh, my, my kits need to be replenished, uh, so that's something I will be working on while I continue to work from home. One of the other things I do have with me today is one of the more important things I think in my inventory of supplies, and that is my binder of important documents. So with the help of Ready Navy and Fleet and Family, I have been able to put together a lot of these items uh, and make sure that I have all of those important documents that should go in one place. Uh, it makes it super handy because again, if someone were to say, hey, Deborah, you need to get out of your house, I'm gonna go grab this and go. Um, all the important documents that you can think about, shot records, maybe marriage certificates, orders, page two, stuff like that can go in here. Um, powers of attorney, anything like that. And there's a great checklist that Ready Navy has put out that we can utilize. So in case you have questions, in case you want to know more about what we need to do to prepare here in San Diego for whatever may come, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Fleet and Family is open. Uh, you can also call our centralized scheduling office, which is 866-923-6478. Uh, and ask to speak to anyone about emergency preparedness. Also, don't hesitate to go online, pull up the Ready Navy website, and even in Bass. So this is an opportunity for our service members to make sure that our dependents know how to utilize in Bass, what it looks like, how to update things, uh, and service members, of course, make sure your in Bass is up to date. We are working through cases right now as a result of the pandemic, and so we just wanna make sure too that you know, whatever else gets thrown at us next, we're good to go. So use this as an opportunity. Make sure InFast is good. Check out Ready Navy. Work on that emergency kit. And again, don't hesitate to reach to us if there's anything we can do to help support you in this time. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.